Hey everybody, today I'm showing you another cool ferrofluid visualizer and I've covered a bunch of fancy ones. This is a different kind of a visualizer, at least it's, it really doesn't have too many bills and whistles. It has this basic unit here and then you get this and you, you put this on top of this and just plug it in. As you see, there's a little bit of ferrofluid here my experience with these is that all of them have that and some of them have huge bubbles, some have small bubbles. The challenge is actually to fill these and, and, and get it up as much as the air bubble as possible. So you get this. This is your main unit. This is your stand and this is your magnet. You can interact with it like this. You also get this one and an adapter. This is everything that you get. You get fair fluid, this, that. So this has a port here that you can actually attach the power adapter. Uh, this is designed to look like one of those vinyl records. Now, once I actually attach this to a power source, it's gonna be able to pick up the noise right now. It's not going to do it. This just holds it. It's just very compact. The cable is pretty long, so it won't actually reach my power strip without any issues. Now this is turned on. I don't see any lights or anything like that. I'm going to put this there. And now it should be able to actually pick up my voice. So very simple design. The good thing about it that I like is that it's, you can replace this. So that's one good thing about it. You can actually get your own bottle and experiment with different formulas. I've seen these ferrofluid visualizers in different colors, silver, gold. It doesn't take a lot of space. You can interact with it from here. Now the negative part I would say is that now if I get closer, you see it actually picks up my voice better. I'm far away, it's a little bit less than that. There is no Bluetooth connectivity. It's just doing it without any of that. As far as the size, There is this in the back. Let's see what that does. This is now not picking up at all. So this is for sensitivity. This is now the, the max level of sensitivity. The knob in the back, as I showed, just does that. It does work vertically. And now when I talk or if there's any noise around it, it's gonna pick it up. Use this for podcast. Imagine podcasts. civilization on the Kardashev scale that reaches beyond type three. Harnessing not just the energy of galaxies, but manipulating the very fabric of space. The linear perception of past, present, and future. They could exist simultaneously across multiple timelines, creating temporal nodes where they can influence events without direct intervention. This would allow them to seed their presence across eons, subtly guiding the evolution of other civilizations towards a predetermined future, essentially becoming cosmic architects of reality itself. Now, if you put it too loud, like this, it will just, if it's too loud like that, it will just stop. So you wanna be careful. If you ever get it stuck, there's not a problem with this. It's just that it's just too loud. So you wanna reduce that or you wanna reduce that sensitivity. So there are two ways to do it.
universe itself is a grand simulation or experiment run by higher dimensional beings. In this scenario, Earth and humanity could be under observation as part of a vast study or entertainment for these beings, who have designed the simulation so that contact with extraterrestrial life does not occur to maintain the integrity of their experiment or narrative. Dimensional phase. That's about it. Very simple design. Good conversation starter. Just have to make sure that this is sort of lined up correctly. And other than that, you can use your own fair fluid on this, which I like. A lot of these visualizers don't let you do that. They have it sealed inside. So if you want to change it, you have to actually remove them somehow. This is the wake without the stand. Visualizer unit. You add this on it. For more information, please go to Gadgetify.com. Also YouTube.com at Gadgetify. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check the description for more info. Thanks for watching. Paradox occurs when an object or piece of information sent back in time becomes trapped in an infinite cause and effect loop.